if given a chance to main event mania as WWE champion, who would you want your opponent to be? So, Ted, you and I have discussed it before, and I know that uh, you certainly never needed the WWF title or any championship, really. Uh, <laughs> however, you know, it's, it is kind of like a, a dream for most guys to main event mania as champion. Uh, if you could pick anybody, who would it be? Oh, gosh, you know, obviously back well, back then, I mean, because, I mean, uh, yeah, one of the obvious choices would be Hogan. Mm-hmm. Because Hogan was the guy, uh, and you know, and of course, you know, uh, and, and, and I don't think Hogan gets enough credit. I mean, people say, "Well, you know, he really wasn't a great wrestler." Okay, he wasn't a great wrestler in terms of hammer locks and wrist locks and all this other stuff, and uh, you know, leg sweep and what have you. But what what Hogan was very good at was understanding who his character was mm-hmm. and how his character, you know, here's this great big guy, you know, and, and kind of like, kind of like Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant was great because Andre the Giant, you go in a ring and in a very believable way, get into a place where, where the people actually thought he was in danger of losing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's kind of like it would, it would take a while for you to get him off his feet. But once you got him to his knees, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it's, it's all about tell, the way you tell the story. And then, uh, like, easily in my mind's eye, I can picture one of those WrestleMania posters with you and Hogan on it. You know, Ted and his money versus Hogan and all of his Hulkamaniacs. Like, I don't know. To me, that I'm, I'm, I'm honestly kind of surprised, uh, thinking back on it, that you never really had that opportunity with Hogan on, you know, in, in a huge pay-per-view main event like that. Well, you know, um, you know, and I guess in an effort to please a lot of people, and of course, I didn't know this for the longest time, but, you know, I, I think when when I came along and I was getting real red hot, uh, it was the reason that WrestleMania four went the way it, w- it did was to appease Randy Savage. Mm. And I'll be honest with you, I get it. Randy was a great worker, and he was a heel. And okay. <laughs> And so now we're going to this WrestleMania and I just come, I just had, I just came along. I started actually physically wrestling for the company. What maybe in June or July of the previous year. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and so by the time WrestleMania is coming back around, you know, uh, and basically what I did was I was, I was the one that turned Randy baby face. Yep. Because the, the last match ended up him and me. And so, uh, yeah, you know, as it, as it turns out, I never was you know, the WWF world champion, but, you know, and again, but here's what I understand about wrestling. It's, 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 it's a story. Mm-hmm. Nobody's really the world champion. Uh, if you're in a movie, you know, <laughs> it's kind of like, <clears throat> but, uh, obviously, but not, I'd say this though. Whoever is the world champion, whoever carries that belt as a rule needs to be somebody that has the savvy to get in the ring and wrestle anybody and get a match out of them. And say what you want about Hogan. He carried that belt for a long time. So clearly yeah. he had that savvy um, to be able to climb into the ring with folks and, and yeah. have a have a good match. Yeah. And, and I had, I had, you know, and I, I, I did, I had several matches with him. I, I had a lot of, ma- actually a lot of matches with him and him and Savage and me and Andre or him and somebody else anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, that's the you know, bottom line is I, you know, I, I never got the world title. Well, and again, you know, uh, to appease me, <laughs> so to speak, that's why I created my own title. And, and here's the thing, the million dollar championship, you know, I mean, I carry that thing now and I, and I, there's all, so many fans. They said, I want to take, I want to take a picture with, with the million dollar belt. And so they do. And so it's kind of like, but the, the thing that made people hate me back then was I was so arrogant 
it was like, I don't need your stinking championship. I'm going to declare myself the champion and you wrestle me for my belt. And it's perfect. And my belt is going to look better and it's going to be more, exp- and more expensive than any other belt in wrestling history. <laughs> it's just good storytelling. And, and it's, story- it's, again, it's storytelling. And I mean, it got, I got, you know, what it got me was a whole lot of heat. You know, what a, what an arrogant, la, 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 la. You know, <laughs> you know who's he think he is type of, you know, and that was the whole point was to give me heat. And if you're if you're a, a heel, that's what you want to keep your heat. Now uh, you, you, you want to be able actually, you want to be able to go in the ring, have a match with a guy like Hulk Hogan, and even if you get beat, you keep your heat. Yep. You know, and it's like, and that's and that was the thing for me. It was like, no matter how many times I wrestled, whoever, you know, uh, you know, pe- people were just going to continue to hate me, and that was the whole idea. <laughs> 